What's up, my fellow traders? Hope you all having an awesome day. I'm going to have a net gas, gold, silver, and crude oil starting the natural gas. So what do we have right here? Let me show you the clip from my last video so that we can understand conditions and entries. Here, right at the close, that is also less aggressive way. Aggressive entry is right here with a good reward risk ratio. But here is a less aggressive way. It means I'm still looking at the price to push down inside the zone from where we can start to look for the next condition. So entry number two has been triggered after the break. And we are now expecting a price to head down. Correction is expected. As you can see, we are now nicely oversold in the RSI as well. With that, we can expect a pullback. Nice one. So as you can see here on Oanda, I'm going to go through Capital.com and Nemex in a second but here on Oanda as you can see price clearly farmed bullish engulfing pattern and zone was already sent to my members yesterday as well in a downtrend we are just looking for the possible bounce that is enough to hit your targets and then either the price going to continue to bounce up and push up and change its trend or the price just after a bounce after you take your profits start to push down and continue to push down in a downtrend so two things can happen either an uptrend after the bounce or which we call reversal or the price will after a bounce continue to push down so at this point i'm expecting few conditions now either we can expect for the long term we haven't got any confirmation yet, but from here, if you, if you can see, we have a left shoulder, we have a pullback and we have a possible head of this pattern. For now, in a long term, I'm expecting a price to form inverse head and shoulder pattern as well. It is something I am getting prepared in advance. If I see this pattern, I put my possible entries. Now, it is something I'll be looking for future. Before that, we took a head and shoulder pattern bearish and here we might be looking for the inverse head and shoulder pattern bullish so, but that is something i want you guys to look for once the pattern is completed so, so at this point either the price is going to reverse or going to push down but now after my take profit is hit as you know i take my trades on oanda and look for my conditions on oanda and, and capital.com as well here the price bounced up all i'm expecting either the price will push up and hit 50 ema that is likely and if that happens a price forms a bearish engulfing pattern that is a very likely chance as well something like this in a downtrend when the price pulls back up from the support hit 50 ema either it breaks above or forms a bearish condition so that is what we need to look at either bearish engulfer below 50 ema doesn't matter if it hit 50 ema or not but if the price forms bearish engulfing pattern below 50 ema that will be another signal that price will push down and i'm gonna go short from from here till this recent low so once the price forms a bearish signal right here i'll be looking for my possible double bottom pattern which is something like this and i will also mark my rejection zone for double bottoms like this and all i'll be waiting for the price to form a signal which is a bullish engulfer within this blue zone exactly like this or a 3a2 candle if you don't know what 3a2 candle is please feel free to watch the video how to identify valid candlestick patterns in my playlist and i'll keep my stop loss below this pattern and take profit i'll go one to one and manage to 1.4 to 1 reward to risk ratio that is how i personally take my trades and nothing should be taken as any sort of trading advice just my opinion and this is how i personally take my trades so that is something i'll be looking at closely for my possible trades for net gas now let's say the price push down and break below this low I will still look for my next buy trades from this zone. As I mentioned yesterday that we have an oversold situation and correction is expected. With the correction, with the oversold situation, we have a bullish engulf. And if you are my student, you know the U-turn strategy has also played out. So that is why either a bearish engulf if there is no condition price still pushes down inside my zone, forms a bullish engulf again or double bottom again inside the zone, I will go long again. So in a nutshell, I will be looking for my possible bearish trades from here if we have a bearish condition below 50 EMA. Or if we have a pullback to my rejection zone price from a double bottom, I will look for a less aggressive entry, which is my double bottom entry pattern. And the price is now inside the level of support. In case you missed my last video, it is 2.267 goes up to 2.3 five six an area where the price is currently inside of so keep an eye these are the entry conditions now i'll be looking at for my possible trades next up we have here on nemex nemex is also getting closer to the level of support which is right here as you can see the numbers in blue now at this point what i'll be looking at just a pullback could be below 50 ema could be below 20 ema followed by bearish engulfing pattern something like this if we have that i'm gonna go short we have just recently took a bearish pullback trade so exactly something i will go for my next trade exactly something like this we took this trade just on friday in the priority group if i have a condition again here on nemex or 
capital lot come out on Oanda will go for short again. So that's just a bearish pullback entry until we are in this zone. If the price comes down, comes down in this zone, forms bullish in golfers or double bottom, I will go long. So keep an eye only bearish trades till the price hit my next level of support, which is right here. Let's say if the price pulls back up and break above 50 EMA dramatically, only then I'll start to look for my buy trades. Otherwise, just bearish trades till this zone. Aon Capital.com, exactly the same, just a pullback entry bearish as prices break below this low right here. There could be a chance the price will retest this anchor level as price form this as an anchor level by breaking below this low. So just a pullback and bearish in golfer I'll be looking at for my possible trace till the price comes down in my area below which is right here. 2.505 goes to 2.642 from where I'll be looking to enter my buy trace with bullish in golfer so double bottom entry confirmation. For our only sell trades until we get a condition here or until we are broken above 50 and 20 EMA. So don't get confused with on analysis again if the price pulls back up forms a double bottom I will go another long trades but on the other hand i'll be looking for my bearish trades as well if we have conditions next up we have gold nicely pushed up now after the break of 50 ema we have a nice pullback followed by bullish engulfing pattern right here the price nicely pushed up out of gold and if you look here atr of this candle is 12 and as you can see i've set my stop loss and take profit as 12 dollars nicely hitting my take profit so at this point what to expect from here again i'll be just looking at my level above for the possible double top pattern which is right here it's 2672.36 goes to 2685.43 from where i'll be looking to enter my sell trade if we have a bearish engulfing pattern within this zone or inverted hammers with the wick let's say the candle goes up and close back down leaving the wick here forms the little body at the bottom in that case we will have a valid 382 candle or inverted hammer so that's why i'll be looking at sell trades from this zone i'm still expecting a price to head to this zone as been mentioning from last couple of days that we are still getting a possible push up to this zone from where we're going to start to look for the bearish trade with conditions only the next buy trade after hitting this zone will only happen once we are broken above this high keep an eye only buy trades till we are here if you're managing this trade that's if you have a student you have taken this trade it is an area till where i would like to manage this trade if you have already entered on a daily time frame on this bullish in golfers so from here to here will be something i would do to manage my trades next up we have silver is pushing up nicely now at this point silver is kind of formed and head and shoulder pattern as well if you look here we have a left shoulder pull back we have head of this pattern then push back down to termination zone now we are inside the termination zone so the way i would calculate my pullbacks now it is something like this so it is my termination zone now it is not a very ideal head and shoulder pattern in the real market you won't see a perfect head and shoulder pattern exactly something like this you won't see like that but here we do have a head and shoulder pattern and we are inside the termination zone something like this now if the price forms a bearish engulfer inside this zone that will be a signal the price will then push down and it will also push the gold lower but in that process in that push up it can still push the gold up to the next level of resistance right here from where both can start to push lower as as then we will get to the level of resistance here and price is already inside the level of termination zone for silver so at this point either the push up can go up to this termination zone and price can form bearish in golfer here or if the price pushes up to the level above right here then price will then form triple top pattern then head and shoulder pattern will become invalid so for the price to form a valid head and shoulder pattern it must stays between this purple zone so if the price from bearish and golfer that will be a signal that the silver will then start to push down from here so keep an eye look for the condition for sell not buying silver until we are not broken above these highs finally we have crude oil is now dramatically broke below the level of support now after this bounce we are waiting for the price to form some sort of double bottom pattern which we haven't got means the price is now likely going to use this zone as a bearish trend continuation zone now there are two ways we can calculate the pullback aggressive and less aggressive from here just to the zone here as you can see aggressive entry has been triggered with the pullback right here if you are an aggressive trader if you follow me and if you have entered this trade it is an aggressive entry stop loss a and take profit can be 1.618 retracement so that is something for the aggressive trader now if you're someone who is not an aggressive trader simply just a pullback to this zone right here that has been broken 72.24 goes up to 73.35 a pullback to this zone 
followed by bearish engulfers or a double top formation that will be a less aggressive entry or just a pullback below 50 EMA doesn't need to hit this zone but a pullback followed by bearish engulfing pattern in that case I will go short so only looking for bearish sell trades for the less aggressive entry aggressive entry has been triggered now I'm looking at the zone below which is right here roughly 65.76 goes to 67.88 from where I will looking to enter my buy trades I will update you guys tomorrow with the up-to-date zone for now just look for the bearish trades below 50 EMA so that's it for commodities guys hope you got a value if yes give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green I'll see you guys in the next one till then take care <music>